Reese here with Adore Her Beauty and I am back with another video. As you can see, this will not be a typical hirsutism facial wax video. I am here with a male client sent by his beautiful girlfriend. He wanted to get his ear wax. Now you may have seen some crazy ear wax videos on the web. But I'm going to show you how I do an earwax. Now, just keep in mind, there were some uh, stimulating circumstances. One, the AC was pumping, so the wax was drying. It was a lot of it was a lot of hiccups. And then, plus, I was running behind schedule because my first client before them came late. So, it was, you know, pretty hectic. But I decided to film it, and I just decided to show everything, you know, how it went down. So, as you can see, I already started out with the cleanse. I always cleanse the skin first. And I'm gonna follow up with another gauze that's going to dry the skin. And you know, he, as you can see, didn't have a lot of hair um in his ear or on and around his ear, his ear. But you know, there's a little bit. So in this video, as you can see, I am using a Bolish Abrogate Harwax, and I'm just like in awe of the amazing beautiful bright orange color now in hindsight i see that i could have warmed the wax up a little bit more i didn't really pay attention to the consistency fully until i was on live today doing my leg wax and i'm like you know what i can turn the heat up just a bit now this is a new warmer that i'm using from um, another wax company so I'm still familiarizing myself with the warmer. So I brought it up to the temperature that, you know, is normally where you should have it at and saw that it could have been warmed up. But anyway, it's still doing what it's supposed to do. Like, look at that hair. He has some bone straight hairs that are growing in and around his ear. And so I'm just going over it again. And of course it's the ears. So it's like the application is not going to be smooth as if, it were on the leg or if it were on the arm or anywhere so it's going to get into cracks and crevices and things like that and it's going to kind of snap and break now in the videos that i have seen the people are like stuffing q-tips in their ears and they're putting wax over the entire ear it's best in these instances to wax in sections as you can see that i have been doing since the very start of this video now here it looks like i'm putting wax inside of his ear but i'm just putting it on the inside area of the little point tip part i don't know what that's called but most people get that part pierced so it's not like actually down in his can ear canal i wish you could see it from that angle but it's not actually down in the ear canal it's just right on the front and back side of that little tip right there and the wax was just kind of popping off because i mean hey it was a lot of hairs you can see from this part right here take a look at this little strip this little piece all those hairs were holding on and again there were some you know circumstances around the wax the air was blowing real cold and plus the wax could have been a little warmer so technically the wax was a little colder than what i'm used to but anyway that side is complete i gave him some oil some aloe that's before that's the after and now we're going to turn around and go on the other ear so on the other ear again the wax is set at the same temperature this was about 75 on that particular warmer um it's and then it's celsius so like i say it's a different warmer but it's my second time actually using it no excuse no excuse no excuse because you know i'm just gonna still do what i gotta do they were ultimately satisfied of course i'll show you in the end that you know he was satisfied and his uh, girlfriend was satisfied but anyway so i'm kind of covering that little piece up and going down to the earlobe because i'm thinking you know maybe that's gonna make for a good clean removal as you saw that it did and this is the strip so yeah he, he has those hairs growing out of his ear and so now i'm just going to catch another section and again like i was saying i don't think i finished that initial thought you want to wax the ear in sections i've seen videos where they are stuffing q-tips in the ear and they are coating wax on the entire ear like i don't believe that it is safe to put wax over someone's entire ear what if it gets down in their ear canal i mean hearing is just as important as seeing and i would hate to 
be a contributing factor to someone losing their hearing or having to get like some type of ear flush or some antibiotics if something gets infected or something like that so why would you put wax over their entire ear sure it's faster sure it's more convenient like you literally can do this wax in two minutes you just pour a glob of wax all over let it dry and rip it up and then you do that on the other side and, and you're done so yeah it's convenient you, you turn over your turnover rates pretty high so you're making your little ten dollars a little fifteen dollars however much you charge for it but is it safe for your client like you have to consider these things that's why we are licensed and trained because we're supposed to consider the general health of the public so you are a public servant serve the people and serve them well so this is the end of this video as you can see i'm putting him some nice oil just inspecting his ear making sure i got all the hair so i'm giving him some oil and some aloe just to make sure he's all good and this is the before right here and then that's the after so make sure you subscribe we're trying to reach 100k yes